Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you all a new feature that I found on Microsoft Teams meetings that might have just taken away Zoom webinars for good. So let's talk about it. Now, before we get started in today's video, I wanted to let you guys know that we now have a Discord channel where we can talk about a bunch of new product reviews, Microsoft Teams, Office 365, new Apple products, things like that, all in this Discord channel. So make sure to check out the link down below in the description to join now and become a member. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified anytime we post a new video. All right, so I want to show you guys this new feature that I found in Microsoft Teams. When you click on this new meeting option, when you're going under the calendar section in Microsoft Teams, there is an option now when you are creating a Teams meeting to click required registration. And so when you click that, you can choose for people in your organization or for everyone. So let's say we're doing something that resembles a Zoom webinar. We would click for everyone and it's gonna load now you're going to be able to create a registration form. This is so cool. And it's a little bit scary for something like Zoom webinars. So you're able to add an image, copy the registration link, add a title, add a duration of the meeting. Then you can click what fields um, you would like to add. So you can even add custom fields and custom questions for the people registering for your Teams meeting. You can even add a description for your video and something really cool that they have added into here is speakers. So you can, let's say, add a speaker. Let's say Bobby was speaking and um, if I can spell his last name right. So let's say Bobby was speaking and we were giving a description that he is um, the CEO of Axiom Technologies. So that's a cool option that you can use. And once you have customized this to your liking, you can then click the save button and it will then save it as a template for your registration form. Now, for the rest of this area, it's going to look the almost the exact same as when you would create a Microsoft Teams meeting. So I'll link up here above me our original Microsoft Teams meeting video where you can learn more about how to create an actual Microsoft Teams meeting. But for today, as we're talking about something similar to a webinar setup, I want to focus on this option right here, which is add required presenters. Notice how they now call attendees presenters. And that is because when you add somebody here, they are now able to be a presenter of a meeting, almost like um, a panelist. So in a Zoom webinar, there are certain people that can be panelists if you add their email in, and they are able to enter into the meeting before everybody else and have access to their camera, their audio, and are able to share their screen. Regular attendees of a Microsoft Teams meeting, when you are doing a required registration form, do not have access automatically to their camera or their audio. So if you want somebody to be a part of this meeting that's going to be a presenter and is going to be talking through like a PowerPoint presentation or something like that, you would add them to this required presenters section. And it's super cool because you could add required presenters as well as optional if you want to invite somebody that can attend but they don't necessarily have to. It gives you the option to either accept or deny that request. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like inside a Microsoft Teams meeting itself when you have a registration form involved. All right, so I'm not going to turn on the video or the audio because we're already in a video call. And I am going to join the meeting. 
So when nobody else is in, it's going to show up as waiting for others to join. Now I am going to join from another device to show you what this looks like. Okay, so my other account is joining the meeting. And since I am the administrator of this meeting, I can choose to view my lobby um, or admit this person. Um, that is me. <laughs> and so you can either click the green arrow or the X. So I'm going to admit this person into the meeting. And now if you notice, they go into the meeting with no video or no audio capabilities. Everything is crossed out. You have the option to hover over them, click these three buttons and allow for the camera and allow for the microphone to be used. You can even pin them, spotlight them, and automatically make them a presenter. So that's great news. If you forgot to add a presenter um, at the beginning of creating this meeting and they enter in as an attendee, you don't have to worry about it. You can just add them directly right here. You can give each individual attendee their own permissions, but you can also, in this top three buttons right here, you can click down and allow for all attendees to have the microphone, allow all of them to have the camera on, and you can manage the permissions right here. You can even lock the meeting. So if you don't want anyone attending this meeting after a certain point of the presentation has gone through, you can click lock the meeting and it will not allow anyone else to attend the meeting. Now, you can also share the invite link directly from here, but just by clicking this button. Something to note is that if you send the link to the registration form, once they fill out that registration form, it is going to send them the link to the meeting. If you want to bypass that form, you can just share this invite link and it will allow them to go directly into the meeting without filling out a form. So that's something helpful to note, but if you want it to be a little bit more like a webinar setting and you want those forms filled out, I would encourage you to send out the form registration and Microsoft Teams will take it from there. The main difference with adding a registration form to a Teams meeting versus not is that it already sets up this attendee versus presenter-esque meeting where you already know that if somebody's going to join and they're not a presenter, they're going to have no camera and no audio capabilities. This is very important if you want to do something like a webinar and you don't want anybody but the presenters to have those capabilities, Microsoft Teams will automatically do that for you if you add that registration form to your Microsoft Teams meeting. It's really interesting how they don't have a button specifically for something like a webinar, but it looks just like a Microsoft Teams meeting and you just add a form to it. I do think that's a little odd, but if we're thinking about how it used to be, this is a much better upgrade to having those webinar-like meetings. Now, if I forgot anything about this feature that you guys want to remind me about and make sure that other people in the comments know, please comment down below if you have anything to add to this subject. If you have been using this feature already, please let me know down in the comments below what you think of it and if we should start using it more instead of webinars in Zoom. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.